Hey, this is Jim Bergman with Supco TechLink, and I just wanted to go over a couple really interesting features of the meter, uh, just due to some questions we got. And one of them was, why would you want a power meter over an amp probe? And what's the difference? Because this truly does just look like an amp meter, but it's a whole heck of a lot more because this actually does power it in watts and kilowatts on there, which makes a, a big difference in the type of meter that we're using. And so what the reason you want to measure power a lot of times is because that's what we sell. We sell efficiency. We want to make sure our blower motor is efficient. We want to make sure our condenser is efficient. And I just want to show you how we would use those features in conjunction with MeasureQuick uh, to really show our customers some interesting results. So what I've got here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clamp the meter on here. I've got it set to, to uh, kilowatts already. And you can see over here in, uh, in Redfish, what I can do here is uh, sync the Redfish meter into the, uh, uh, into the MeasureQuick application. So you can see it's reading zero watts right now. I'm just going to go back to the home screen here. And I'm measuring my total capacity, my sensible capacity, latent capacity. And if you look at, uh, click on performance again, you can see I have no EER, SEER, or fan efficacy. And these are all measurements of efficiency. And that's a really important thing to, to measure for your customer because we want to know, in this case, how efficient is my system operating. So if you look down here at this condensing unit, I've got this sort of blocked off here on the condenser fan uh, so that I can you know, block off part of the coil here. You can see I'm running high head pressure. And this would be very typical to something you might see if you had a, a dirty condenser coil. So maybe I want to show the customer before and after. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clamp the meter on to my uh, blower, blower lead here. I'm going to go back to the electrical section for just a second here. You can see it comes up here. I've got both evaporator fan and I've got condenser. And as soon as I touch this on here, on to, across the contactor here, you can see it's pulling in right now a watt. So I'm doing 228 watts. I'm doing 207 volts, 1.1 amps, and my power factor is 0.98. So if I go over here and get hit capture now, now I've got that reading captured in so that I can uh, go outdoors and make my next set of measurements. So if I move to the outdoor section here, what I'm going to do is just clamp around the, uh, the hot leg coming in off of my condenser so it can either be the black or the red. Go ahead and clamp that on there so I get my amps. Then I'm going to go ahead and put these meter leads on here so I can uh, continually monitor my uh, SEER or my EER in real time. So I'll just clip these on here. And then I'm going to take one. I'm going to clip it to the uh, each side of the 240 volt. So I've got this one here on the black leg. And I'll clamp this one over here on the hot side. And now if you look over here on our application again, we're pulling in about 1,271 watts. Now I'm not going to hit capture on this so I can actually see all this live because this is pretty cool stuff here. So if I hit submit here, and go back now, you can see my EER is running around 12, 11.6 and around 12.8 on my SEER. And these are all calculated in the MeasureQuick application. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off these, uh, these covers here. I'm going to go on the other side and grab two over here too. And if we come back over here and take a look, in real time here, what we're going to see is our SEER is, EER is going up and our SEER is also going up. So we're up at about 13.9 right now. If I look at this as a trend here, and uh, look at our EER and SEER, we'll see those are trending up here as we go. So what we're showing you is that uh, we're actually getting an increase in efficiency of our system, and we can quantify that increase of efficiency with an electrical savings. And you can't do this with a normal amp meter because it simply doesn't make all the measurements you need. You actually need true power in watts or kilowatts, and that's what the Redfish meter does. It measures power, it measures volts, it measures amp, it measures power factor, so we can get a true reading of what the efficiency of the system is, and now we can show that to our customer and really make a, a good impression on uh, that we're making all the right measurements to assure the customer's getting the efficiency that they're paying for. So this gives you a little bit of an idea of why you really want to invest the money into a meter like this one here. The, the Redfish meter, it's a great, great meter uh, we've tied this together with Subco in the TechLink app. I just wanted to show you a little bit what we could do outside of TechLink. But this is just stuff that you don't see every day and a lot of technicians have never done. And it's a really, really uh, pertinent reason why you want to purchase this type of a meter. This is Jim Bergman on behalf of Subco TechLink. Thanks a lot for watching.